So today what I'm starting to do is think about uh, turning my Honda Element into a micro camper and I'm a little bit stuck and there's a Stellar's J on that, I don't know if you can hear it, oh he's gone, there's Stellar's J on the uh, electric line, he's just making an awful racket, <laughs> as they do, anyway I thought about, um, we'll shut up so the first thing I've come across, and I've been researching these, and they're coming quite expensive, are the mounted cargo baskets. Um, I've seen them for about two and five hundred dollars on on Amazon, but on my travels yesterday, I came across this, which is the Cargo Master roof-mounted cargo basket, and it was in uh, Walmart of all places, and it came in at ninety-seven dollars. So I thought super cheap. And we'll get one of these and today, because it's another beautiful sunny day, is let's mount it on the on the roof of the element. So let's see what we've got. So the basket weight is 25 pounds and it will carry 150 pounds of gear. Ah. Thought it come without screws then. I was a member in the 1970s. You saw that really before IKEA. You saw that really uh, awful flat pack furniture, flat pack kitchens, the MFI or something. And it never ever used to come with the right amount of uh, parts. So he was always scrabbling for screws and all sorts of bits and pieces. But, okay. That. Into there. Is it? No, because it's upside down. Yeah, so first thing is these, we've got these rubber grommet things here. You've got to kind of get them over, over the tube. These went in quite well, they were easy. Um, but this one's been a bit of a pain. It's a bit like putting on a wet, cold wetsuit. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's a decent size rack. So it looks quite well made. That's the first thing. Um, it's all powder coated, so it uh, shouldn't rust. Now the other thing is like when I'm thinking about solar panels is you get these um, you can get these flexible solar panels that just kind of stick to the top of your car but again looking on YouTube a lot of people have had problems with these because as, the, as you're driving the wind peels them back so I'm just wondering as well whether to make this roof basket the actual solar part of the vehicle um, as well so you can just put um, a board in here and then fix the solar panel to it screw it on and then maybe I opt for two systems on the solar panel part a bit like my boat when the engine was going it would recharge your battery it's just a simple loop across from your car battery through a um, through a switch and then to the actual secondary battery so when you're driving you're automatically charging your battery up but if you're in camp for a while and you don't have electric and you're spending a couple of days there then what you would do because you don't have rubbish um, luggage rubbish you don't have luggage on here um, put your solar panel on it 
plug it in, off it goes. So you're not keeping your solar panel on the top of your car. Because the other thing was that, as well, is the weather here will soon dim your solar panel. It's a bit like when you got the um, garden solar panels in your you know the ones that light up your lawn, that kind of stuff in your garden. Then the last season, maybe two seasons max, because you get a winter on them, all of a sudden that solar panel fogs up, gets covered in grime and gunge and you can never clean it off properly. So again with this cargo rack idea and doubling up as a multi-function item um, use it to mount my solar panel kind of works so maybe two systems on that this is always the fun part yeah you know, I've just I've got this Honda element we need to buy it just before New Year and it's a fun part of owning this vehicle because it's the design phase of it that it's good fun. What are you going to do with it? How is it going to be different to everybody else's element? So, okay, so that part was easy enough. What do we do now? Screw on the super duper front bit. Okay. I think I might have to. I think what I might do is uh, have a sticker that covers over that with my Trambling Man logo. I think that'll go on quite well there. Or it's a nice uh, panel for stickers and bits and pieces of where you've been. Okay, so this. Um, this model of the Honda Element does actually have roof bars included on it. So, they're quite sturdy. So, what I intend to do is put the mounting bracket, and it's, please excuse the roof of the, of the car because it's absolutely minging. Because we've had nothing but frosts and foul weather here. This is the first run of decent daylight that we've had. So, stick the roof basket on here not quite substantive and, yeah. Okay, so I've got this cargo master on the top of the roof. Um, I've also measured it basically 11 centimetres that side, 11 centimetres that side. Seems to sit on there quite nicely. And uh, I'm just going to uh, try and clamp it on now. So the idea is you have these space bars here, and then you put the bracket. top of the space bar like so then it's just a case of putting this bit through from the inside and then uh, screwing it down with these and that's as easy as it gets so unfortunately though I need both my hands <laughs> so I've decided as well just before I screw this thing down I'm just going to bring it forward um, reason being is all this space here is kind of dead there's not a lot you can do with it i can think of at the moment uh, but i'm bringing this cargo thing forward to here and what that does is it frees up more of an area here uh, now one of my plans here is to put in a hatch probably um like a boat hatch kind of stuff so i can open it up fully and get out onto the roof that kind of stuff and I just want to move this, I think, one cell forward. So, just moved it forward, one kind of cell up. And what that does, just gives me a bit of a, a better profile on this area here. 
Okay. Now this next bit is a little bit fiddly, so we'll get it screwed into place. Okay, so that's my Cargo Master roof rack, roof basket, cargo basket. So here's what it looks like. I'm kind of uh, quite pleased with that. It took about an hour to put it on. The most fiddly bits was kind of these things. The only thing I don't like is the way that these screws here stick up a little bit. Uh, I think I might have to get a hacksaw and just wipe the tops off of those. So if you put in uh, stuff like tents and things, uh, then things can rip. So, but it's a really sleek design. Looks really good on top of the element. Yeah, 